Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where you want to go ahead and set up a VPN on your Android device. Now there's two different ways to do this. There's a manual way to do it and there's an app way to do it. So if you want to set up your VPN manually through your settings app, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. But the easiest way is to download an app, which I'll show you in just like a minute. So if you want to do the manual method, what you want to do is you want to hop into your settings app. So you want to go into settings just like right here. You want to find the search bar, which is right there, and you want to type in VPN. So literally just go over here, type in VPN just like this. And depending on your Android device, there will be a lot of different options on Samsung. That's why I tell you to type in VPN. It's easier this way. You want to find the little VPN option that literally just says VPN like this. It'll go ahead and indicate exactly where it's at on your display. And all you have to do is go ahead and click on VPN just like so. Now, you will probably not see a VPN here. It'll probably be an empty page. For me, I do see one. But what you want to do to input your manual VPN, you want to click on the three dots on the top right corner. You want to click Add VPN Profile. And this is where you will go ahead and put in your manual VPN information. Now, if this doesn't look familiar at all and you have no idea what I'm talking about, just kind of skip to forward like 10 seconds or 20 seconds. But for everyone else, this is basically where you would go ahead and get an online profile, type in all those credentials here and you will essentially be connected to that VPN. Now, this is kind of like the harder way to do it, the easiest way, but this is like kind of like a free way depending on which VPN you get. The apps are kind of free, which is good. There are some paid VPN apps as well. So what you would want to do on your Android device if you want to go through with an installation process of an app, which is 30 times easier, is to first figure out which VPN app you want to use. Now, for me personally, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I use a lot of different ones. There's the Turbo VPN, which is decent. There were some other ones, I think, like VPN, Wii VPN, or something. I don't remember. But the easiest way to do this is go into your Play Store just like so. You want to click on the search bar up here. You want to type in VPN just like this. And you essentially want to find a VPN that works for you. So like I said, Turbo VPN was the one I was using, but I think I've used Thunder VPN and I have a video explaining exactly what my favorite VPNs are. I think there was a VPN just called Free VPN or VPN Free that was also pretty decent. So once you go ahead and have one of those apps downloaded, you want to go ahead and open it up. So in this case, I went ahead and add this one, so I'll open this one up. And you will essentially see a little splash screen that comes up just like this. Typically, there will be some ads. Now, you can buy a plan if you want to. I've never bought a VPN plan. I've never really needed to, to be honest. But if there's some reason you want to do it, then go for it. Then what you want to do here is you want to go and click tap to connect. And you will know a VPN works is if you see on the top left or top right corner of your display, you see the little VPN option that comes up. So for me personally right now, it hasn't set up, but it says connected right here. And as long as it says connected, you're pretty much set. Another way you can verify that you're connected is go back into your settings right here. And you can see that it does say that I am connected to a VPN, which is great. And I think that key icon also indicates that I'm connected to a VPN. I don't really remember, but that's pretty much all you have to do. And now I'm connected with the VPN. Now, if you want to disconnect, you go back into that specific app. You want to go and click stop here, click disconnect. And you will see that if I go back into my settings, it does show that I am not connected to a VPN. So that's essentially how you go ahead and do it. Two different main ways to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could do that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.